In this video, we will be configuring Internet Protocol Security on Windows. Internet Protocol Security or IPsec is a protocol used to authenticate and encrypt IP communication. This is accomplished through mutual uh, authentication between agents as well as the exchange of cryptographic keys at the beginning of the session. To configure the IPsec to enable a secure communication between two Windows machines, we will be using VPN server that is Windows Server 2012 R2 and VPN client as Windows 10 operating system. On the Windows 12 machine, we will need to install the routing and remote access feature. To do so, we will use the server manager. In the server manager, we will add roles and feature. Here a wizard will appear. Hit next. Here select the installation type as role based or feature based installation. And hit next. Here in under server selection we will select a server from the server pool. Hit next. Under the server roles, we will select the remote access. After selecting hit next. Under features, we will hit next. It gives us the description of remote access. Hit next. Here under role services, select the direct access and VPN RSA. It prompts us all the services which will be enabled along with it. Click on to the add features. Hit next. Under web server role ISS, it will give us the information. Hit next. Under role and services, it will display us what all the services will be enabled. Hit next. If you are not sure at this stage and want to make any changes, hit the previous button or hit the install button to proceed the installation. The installation procedure will take few minutes. We will resume the video once the installation is completed. Here we can see that the feature installation has been completed successfully. We close the wizard and also the post installation deployment configuration has also been created. We will be prompted to configure the remote access. In this, we will select the option deploy the VPN only. It will allow us VPN using the routing and remote access console. Select the server 
and right click on to it and configure and enable routing and remote access click next here in routing and remote access server setup window we will select the custom configuration and next we will select vpn access under custom configuration click on to the finish we need to restart okay so we will start the service the service has been started now if we go on to our server we can see the services right click on to the it and go to the properties in properties under ipv4 select the static address pool click add and assign the range of ip addresses you want to allow access to your vpn server enter the starting and the ending ip address of the clients of the number of clients you want to give access to your server click on to okay now we will go under security in security allow the custom ipsec policy click on to it and enter a pre shared key which will be shared among server and the clients remember the pre shared key as it will be useful click on to apply and oh then okay it gives us a prompt to restart the routing and remote access click on to the okay now in routing and remote access server console expand the local server and go to the ports we will right click on to the port and select properties in properties go to the pptp and select configure ppt pptp is point to point transfer protocol configure it to the maximum port as 1 click on to apply and then okay next right click on to the server and select all task under all task select the restart option so that the changes made can be come into effect
Now open the computer management console. Here we will be adding the clients under local user and group. Now right click on the local and local user and group. And click on to new user. Provide the username. Here we will give as VPN3 full name. And the password. We will disable the option that user must change password at next login and enable the options that user cannot change password and password never expire. We will create the new user. Under the user folder, we can see our new user VPN3 has been created. We will right click on to it. Under properties, in dial in section, we will allow access to network access permission. Hit apply and OK. A reboot will be required on your machine. After the reboot, you will be ready to test your client. Now we will be setting up after the uh, connection has been made successfully, the field remote access client will be changed to the number of the clients connected to the server. Now we will set up the client machine. On the Windows 10 machine, we will open the network and internet settings. Choose VPN from the left panel and add an VPN connection. Provide the connection name. Server name or address. Under server VPN provider, it will by default take Windows, which is the built in option. Now edit the advanced option. We can see there our VPN 3 has been added. It under VPN connections. Now try to connect it. Here a pop-up will come to sign in with the username and password. Provide the username and password Hit enter. The connection will be established as soon as the server machine will be rebooted. After that, the connection will be established and IPsec will be acting as a tunnel between Windows Server and the Windows 10 client. Here connection is taking a bit longer. Once the connection has been made in the server machine under routing and remote access console, if we check for remote access client, the number will be one. In this way, 
we have successfully installed ipsec on windows machine